Happy New Year to everybody out there. I hope you had a safe and healthy holiday with people you love. Um, this video was not supposed to be this. I'll take you back to like December 23rd. We, my family and I, left for Disney. I arrived in Disney and realized I forgot my memory card. So I was supposed to vlog and obviously I did not. I felt like it was a sign to just chill out, spend time with family. So no big deal. Then I said, okay, I'll vlog Miami. We were supposed to go to the Orange Bowl, Georgia vs. Michigan for New Year's Eve. Vlog it, spend the weekend. We got so sick. We got the stomach virus, not COVID or anything, thank God, but the stomach virus is no joke. We did not go to Miami. So, hence while I'm sitting on my couch and my tripod right now is two books, a candle, and a candle behind it, and my camera. So I hope it doesn't fall. But I figured I would sit down for my first video in January and talk about not necessarily resolutions because I'm not really a resolutions type, but more so what I've learned from 2021. I like to take what I've learned from the prior year and take it with me into the next year. So I wrote down 10 things that I've thought about that I've actually learned this year and hopefully I'll be able to fixate on those things and improve them and make myself better for 2022. I cannot believe it's 2022 but I wrote them in my phone so give me one second. Mm, pull up to my notes. Okay, cool. Sorry, my lips are so chapped from Florida. I am not meant to be a Florida gal. We got back like on the 29th. I barely made it on the flight. I was no bueno. I was not in good shape for that flight, but we made it. So the 10 things I've learned from 2021. Number one, if you have your health, you have everything. And I feel like that was even more so these past couple days because I was just going through it. But um, in general, I know people have tons of health scares and things way more severe than what I went through. And it just makes you appreciate every day is a gift. Spend it with who you want to spend it with and just enjoy yourself and make sure that you understand that your health is everything. I mean, it's just something to be thankful for that we kind of forget and we're just so blessed that we get another day. So I want to be super hyper focused that um, health comes first and I should be thankful for another day every single day. Number two, it is okay to make a change. So this year I made a huge change and it was switching jobs. I didn't think I would do it, but I realized if I keep complaining about the same thing and don't do anything about it, I have no right to complain. I needed to make a change in my life for the better, for myself and for the people around me. Um, whether it's for a job for some of you or in life where you wanna live or people in your life, it's okay to make a change to make yourself the best version of yourself and just to live a happier life. So if you wanna make a change, I encourage you to do so. Number three, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. So this kind of goes along with making a change in your life. Nothing worth having comes easy. And I know that's cliche, but if you get comfortable with being uncomfortable, you'll be able to learn so much more. You're gonna absorb everything people are telling you, whether um, it's career-wise, in life-wise, goals-wise, all of the above, you, have to get out of your comfort zone. You, you'll you stay complacent if you don't. So make sure you get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Number four, failing is how you learn. And I know this is super hard for some of the perfectionists that are watching this because I am in certain aspects of my life. Um, 
failing is it's just how you learn you either i remember when i did all star cheerleading you'd say you either win or you learn there's no losing there's always a lesson to be learned so you can take it with you to the next opportunity in life and make sure you do it the right way and learn from your mistakes so i think it's super important to um fail and, and that's okay and to know that it's okay to fail and you'll be better off for it in the end Oh, what number am I on? I think I'm on number five, and it's kind of my favorite. Stay true to yourself. No matter what the world says or says you shouldn't do or should do or you should have or where you should be at in your life or where you should be around, just stay true to yourself and stay grounded and don't waver from where you came from and what you truly believe inside of you because when you do that, you'll make decisions from your heart and from who you truly are and not from all the busyness around you that can get in your ear and make you feel like you're not in the best place or that you should be somewhere you shouldn't. So make sure to always dig deep and stay true to yourself and understand why you're here, where you came from, where you're trying to go and stay focused. Number six, it is okay to say no. And I feel like this has kind of a caveat to it because I know um, some people watching might be moving to different cities and they want to explore and make friends and join clubs and join club sports or go to events with different people, go out and that. I think you should always say yes to meeting new people if you're in that stage of your life. But if there is something that is not going to make you happier or it's not good for your mental health say no it's not worth it for you to go be miserable and make everyone else miserable around you it's perfectly okay to say no but like i said if you are trying to put yourself out there meet new people meet a new boy meet a new girl whatever it may be um i encourage you to say yes to certain opportunities because you never know where it may lead you to um but if you are in a state of mind where you are not wanting to go and it's just not going to fulfill you, say no. And that's with any opportunity in life as well. If you know in your heart it's not what you want to do and you go back to staying true to yourself, say no. Seven. Time is everything. And my dad shared something with me and it was super private so I won't... um say it on YouTube, but he just said something and it, it really hit home and time is so precious. You can't get it back. And the time you spend with people you love, with COVID, we all miss so much time. It's time to make up for that time and just really be present and enjoy and live your best life. And I know um, the pandemic is still going on, but make sure when you do have that time, you spend it how you want to spend it. Um, you can't get it back and you'll always want more time. And it's very cliche, but it, it's just kind of a realization. As you get older, I don't know what it is that time is, it's a gift. It's, it's the best thing someone can give you is their time. Number eight, live in the moment. This I struggle with. I tried to get better this year. Um, it more so, and sorry if I keep saying um and like, I'm trying to get my thoughts together, but when I'm out and I'm like, oh, let me capture this moment where this is really special, I will capture it and I'll put the phone down. I won't post about it. I won't send photos. I'll just take the photos and be done. And then when I get home later and I'm in bed and I'm going through my phone as like a nighttime routine, I will post and be done with it and go to sleep. I won't ruin the moment and and make sure that I'm sitting there on my phone, making sure I like the caption, the everything that goes into posting and make sure I'm really, really living the moment. There is nothing more annoying when you're sitting across from someone on their phone. And I'm so lucky my boyfriend doesn't have social media and is always living in the moment. I try to take after him in that sense. But I know some people will literally sit across from someone and be on their phones. It's, 
I just don't like it and I don't want to do it, but I do love social media and I do love sharing. So I feel like I post when I leave a place. I don't post when I'm at the place and it's helped me at least um, make sure that I'm remembering the moment for what it was and then posting about it later. Number nine, work hard, play hard. I like to be challenged. I like to work hard and I think that's super important in life. And I think work is good. It teaches you discipline, time management, different skills in life that are going to be, or I guess, better yourself for the next stage of your life. So I do believe in working hard and then also playing hard. You work hard and you enjoy yourself in the time off or if you want to take that vacation. As long as you work super hard, I'm all for traveling. I like to travel a lot. Like sometimes I'll do mini weekend trips because we've worked tons of we'll grind 10 hour days monday through friday leave friday night and just come back sunday and do like little trips like that and it just kind of like treating yourself but not just like peace i'm traveling the world and, and that's cool too but i just like to work as well and make sure that i'm putting myself in the best position for the future and number 10 have fun enjoy your life if We've learned nothing at all these past couple of years is time is precious, people are precious, your health is precious, enjoy it, have fun, don't take life too seriously, that's the best, I forget who gave, who taught me that, but it was somebody that was a little bit older, and you know, I said, what do you wish, or do you have any regrets in life, or what's the lesson you learned, and they told me that, and I said, it's so true. Don't take life too seriously and have fun. So those are my 10 things that I've learned from 2021 that I'm gonna take into 2022. I'm gonna to try to post on this channel more as well. I like connecting with people. So whether you're here from TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, I appreciate you and I can't believe we're at 100 subscribers. I kinda of wanna to get to 1,000. I know that's crazy, but hopefully we can do it. 